Hello, my fire sign babies. We are going to find out what's going on with you for this week. Comments. Uh, I said comment already. See, I'm already begging for comments. As my, my cat meows at my desperation. I just want to help the algorithm on my YouTube channel. Because I want to make sure that I can continue to do readings. So anyway, timestamps are down below. Be sure to follow, um, subscribe, all that other good stuff. If you want to follow me on my other social media platforms, all the links are down below. As well as my website if you are interested in a personal reading or seeing what I have for sale up there with homemade jewelry okay so we're gonna get started go down to your timestamp and I will talk to you soon hello Sagittarius let's find out what is going on with you for this week all right spirit what is going on with my Sagittarius baby this week what is going on with my Sagittarius babies this week? My eyes just now rested on my turtle crystal. My turtle crystal. My turtle is a reminder. It's okay to pace myself. So that could be significant to some of you. You could be going through a lot of changes. And it's not about stopping the process, but it's okay to slow down and take some time. We had two cards that flipped out and went back in. We do have the King of Wands popping out, which is your own energy. You could be also dealing with another Sagittarius Leo or an Aries, but you don't have to be. We have the Seven of Cups and the Page of Wands. You're very motivated. You are very creative. You have all these ideas flowing through your head. Um, with the Seven of Cups, you have a lot of options as to what you can do. We have the Page of Wands, which is about making plans for that movement. Like, what movement do I want to do? How do I want to give it? We have the Six of Pentacles, which is about giving back what you receive or... You receive what you're already giving. You know, it's a sense of give and take. We have the King of Swords. You could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. And we also have the Temperance card, which is you all day, Sagittarius energy. Bottom deck energy we have here is the Five of Wands. You could have a lot of inner chaos going on. But there could also be somebody who could be arguing with you about a lot of things. Or... Even in the better sense of this card, the Five of Wands is really about training. You know, like anything that comes into our pathway, any kind of obstacles, it's not really meant to, to hold us down. It's not meant for us to fight it. It's meant for us to learn about it and move on forward. It's like, how can I get past this obstacle? How can I train myself to get over this hump? What do I need to do to be stronger? How can I... You know, like, how can I strategically work on moving forward? So I do feel like that you could be training yourself to move more forward. You could be training yourself on giving back, being reciprocal, or learning how to receive something from others. You know, sometimes as an overgiver, you may not be able to receive like you give. You might feel more comfortable giving than receiving because you're afraid of being hurt or whatever the case may be. But it's the whole point that, you know, maybe you're more of a taker, maybe you're more of a giver, only you know that, but you're learning the balance of all of it. Okay. So the king of wands is facing the past. You may have been very active in your past. You may have been looking back at yourself and, and like, you know what? I used to do this and be this and be this and be this. And you're not looking forward, but your page of wands is looking forward. So you may have been dwelling on your past a little bit. And now you know that your, your future is actually full of options, but you have to give to that. 
So you may have had something that has been very giving to you, but now you're like, I have all these options of going forward and this is what I need to utilize. This is what I need to put into place. And this is worth me giving to because it's going to give back to me abundantly. So the King of Swords is a person who is in their head. They are trying to cut through the bullshit. They're trying to get to the truth of it, trying to find the strategy, trying to, you know, turn bad into good. You know, like, how can I learn off of this? How can I turn this around? How can I make water into wine, like the temperance card here? So you're trying to alchemize. It's like, I'm trying to alchemize. I'm training my mind to alchemize what I have been through and turn it into something good from something that I feel was bad. If that makes sense. Which I hope it does. I'm thinking it probably does. So, I do feel as if you are working on this. And you're working on it really hard. You're working on it really hard. And we have the high priestess. You're using your intuition. You're using your mind. You're you're thinking about this stuff. It's like, I need to think about what I'm doing before I do it. And we have the ace of swords. You, you have the clarity. It's like, you know what you need to do. You know what you need to do. On how to move forward and be successful. And I feel like that you are disciplining yourself. You're disciplining yourself. You are doing what you need to do. It's absolutely beautiful. Let's pull some messages from Spirit and see what advice Spirit has for you. Spirit, what advice do you have for my Sagittarius babies? I love how these cards sound. Alright, Spirit, what advice do you have for my Sagittarius babies? I feel like the reason why the King of Wands was looking in your past is because you may have been more active, more diligent, more present, you know, like maybe your actions were more. And right now you're the page training yourself to, to be the king towards your future instead of your past, if that makes any sense. All right, so we have... Take a moment. Stop. Now is not the time to rush into the decision you're about to make. Before this important decision is made, take a moment to pause and quiet your mind so that you can ask your soul for guidance before you act or move forward. And we also have hello from heaven. Your loved ones in the spirit world want to connect with you as much as you want to connect with them. They know you've been thinking of them and they're sending you signs and symbols to show you how much they love you to prove they're with you at this time. So you may be feeling a, a little bit alone. 717 on the clock as I read that last card. That could be significant for you. But... um. Yeah, your angels want to help. You have loved ones on the other side that want to help you through this and guide you. You know, they want to help you through. They definitely want to help you through this. So that is what I have for you for this week, Sagittarius. I'm sending you all kinds of love, light, healing, and protection. Please comment, like, um, subscribe, follow, anything you can do to help the algorithm. Have a great week, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hello, Leo. Let's find out what's going on with you for this week. Let's find out. What is going on with you for this week? All right, Spirit, what's going on with Leo? What is going on with Leo? Spirit, what is going on with Leo? We have the Hermit coming out. That is for... Uh, nope, that's not the Hermit. That's the Five of Cups. So, I take that back. And you are coming out in your own reading right away with the Strength card. Or you could be dealing with another Leo. The Five of Cups is... You're moving out of an energy of... Mm, I look at the Five of Cups as the Feel Sorry for Yourself card. 
So you could be moving out of a very emotional time of where you were looking at, at the spilt cups instead of looking at the full cups, right? But you're gaining strength from this. And this is what's giving you a, a, a very good, passionate new beginning on something. But you can be very stressed out about it. It could be something that is very unknown to you. So it's like, I'm so stressed out about this transition I'm about to make. So with the Five of Cups, normally it's not good to dwell on the spilled milk, right? It's been done. But I feel like in, in this case, it worked to your advantage. Like you had to look at what was wrong in order to fix it. And that's what gave you strength to fix it. But now that you see what you need to fix, it's giving you a whole new beginning, but there's something about it that is stressing you out. It's like, now that I know the answer, it may not have been the answer that you were expecting. We have the Four of Swords. This is leaving you... It's like, I'm I'm not rested. I'm, I'm losing sleep over this. It's like, now that you got the answer that you needed, and you can have this fiery, passionate new beginning, it's not settling right with you. It's like, there's something I have to do here that's not settling right with me. So we do have the Four of Pentacles, and we have the Nine of Wands. And we also have the King of Swords. You can be dealing with an Aquarius, Gemini, or a Libra. Don't have to be. But there is a sense of you stressing out and you losing sleep over this. It's like, I'm, I, I'm going to be stubborn and I'm going to hold on to something. There could be something that you know that you need to let go of, but you are stubbornly holding on to it. And you could be trying to find more answers, even though you already have the answers that you need in order to move forward. Bottom deck energy we have is the nine of cups, which is your own emotional stability. Okay, so there could be something that you're trying to hold on to that maybe you shouldn't be holding on to, but it's giving you comfort emotionally. It's like, if I let go of this, I'm going to be so sad. If I have to move on from this, I'm going to be so sad. So I feel like that you are definitely holding on to something that you feel is going to be an emotional burden if you let it go. We have the Ace of Pentacles. You're stepping into wanting to have something that's more stable. So there could be something about the King of Swords here. Here's a different read on it. You might be a little bit stubborn and saying, you know what? I know that I need to hold my ground. I know that I need to set these boundaries. I need to speak my truth. And even though it's difficult to do it, I know I need to do it. And I'm doing it for my own emotional well-being. And because of that, I'm getting a new stable beginning. So there are tables that you are turning here. I feel like that you're setting new boundaries and people are trying and or learning how to get to know the new you. It's not really the new you. It's just the you that's now coming out. And people are actually able to see it. So there's a sense of balance here. So that part where I was saying that you know, there's something that you could be holding on to, but you don't want to go through the emotional, you know, stampede. I do feel that, but I don't feel like that's holding you back. I feel like it, it's still something that you're going to do, even though you know it's going to be a bumpy ride. I mean, who wants to, who wants to be an asshole? Nobody. You know, it's like, I don't want to be an asshole, but I'm forced to be one. It's like, there's that sense of, I'm forced to do this. So now that I'm forced to do this, let me show you what my boundaries are and we're going to go from there. But I feel like that you definitely have the confidence to say and speak your mind and, and do what exactly what you need to do in order to move forward. It's like, I don't want to have to be the wounded warrior, but yet you are. It's like, I'm tired of fighting. I'm tired of battling. I'm tired of everybody's shit. So let me just set these boundaries and I don't have to do that. You know, <laughs> if people would just act the way they need it to, it would be all so grand. All right, Spirit, what other messages do you have for my Leo babies? What other messages do you have for my Leo babies? What 
What other messages do you have for my Leo babies? Okay. All right, we have stand your ground. <laughs> See? Stand your ground. Standing your ground is an empowering coincidence. A confidence building action to take from time to time. Now is the moment when you need to stand your ground. You know you can do it and you know that by doing so you will be the victor. This is what I was talking about. It's like I don't want to have to do this but I'm forced to do it. So we also have be proud. It's time to celebrate all that you've achieved, all that you are, and all that you will become. Every once in a while, it's important to stop and acknowledge what you've achieved and to be proud. We also have study. Butterflies could be very significant to you. And peacocks. We also have spirit has its own special way of letting you know that it's time to study again. From time to time, it's important to go back and learn, whether it's that's learning old things in a new way or learning something totally new. This is an opportunity to expand your mind. So that is what I have for you for this week, Leo. Please make sure that you subscribe, comment, um, follow. Let me know if you resonate. I am sending you so much love, light, healing, and protection. Have a great week, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hello, Aries. Let's find out what's going on with you for this week. We're going to pull your energy, what could be going on, and then we're going to pull some advice from Spirit. All right, Spirit, what is going on with my Aries babies? What is going on with my Aries babies? What is going on with my Aries babies? The Seven of Cups kind of came out sideways. You have options that you may not realize are options. Or you may feel like your options are narrowing down. We have the Ace of Cups. So you could definitely be narrowing down your options to have a new beginning in love. It's like there's certain things I have to shut down and there's certain things that I have to, it's like I have to pick one. We have the sun. You could be dealing with a Leo. You don't have to be, but you are focused on your own happiness, especially with the nine of cups, your own emotional stability, your own happiness. We have the judgment card. There could be something within you that lights up that you thought was dead, done, and over with. Like you thought, I could never feel like this again. And here I am. Or maybe you felt like I can't have any relation. I, I never wanted to have another relationship. But yet here you are having another relationship. You know, so there's something here that you thought was dead and gone. And it's not. Something that is reviving. Um, Something where... This brings me happiness and it's bringing me a new um, beginning of love and joy. And it's like you have to narrow down your options in order to see this one single new path. We have the Six of Cups. We also have the Ten of Cups. So the Ten of Cups is huge. Family, emotional support, friends, home. It's a, it's a big sense of love and accomplishment. And so with the Six of Cups being here, this could be you and your inner child. This could also be some kind of reconciliation. But I'm, all, I'm actually looking at it like there's some kind of security that this is fixing within yourself. There's something that is healing, some kind of loss that you felt you had. And it's like, I had this loss, but now this is, you know the feeling that I'm getting from this loss. Like there's something else opening up here that is very prosperous, very abundant, very loving. And it's a, it's something that's brand new and a huge new beginning for you. We also have the tower. So the bottom deck energy is the tower. I feel like that this could be something that you are building up. Like maybe I actually feel like the tower is past tense. Yep, High Priestess. You're afraid of certain things happening again. 
we have the King of Wands. You could be dealing with a Libra. You could be dealing with a Leo. You could also be dealing with another fire sign. Um, you could be dealing with another Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius, but you don't have to be. But the King of Wands is overlooking all of this happiness, right? I feel like that you have already went through some shit with the tower. And this is your new rebuild. It's like I have this option of going this way, this way, this way, this way, or this way. But you're using your intuition on how you want to rebuild this. How do you want to celebrate this? How are you going to welcome people in to help you? I feel like that this has been a challenge for you to let people in and to help let them help you. And I feel like it's a very small crowd that even knows what's going on truly with you. But with the King of Wands, is helping you step into who you actually are, who your empowerment is. We have the Four of Cups. You can be so focused on certain things going on with you that you don't see the gift that the universe is trying to give you. So maybe you've turned a blind eye to certain things. But now it's time for you to make a decision on moving forward. It's like I need to make a choice with how I'm going to take my energy. We have the Justice card of balancing things out. Justice card is all about you are getting the fruits of your labor. You are going to get paid back for the, the work that you put in. There's karmic justice going on here. We have the six of pentacles of just making sure that you are being reciprocal. Make sure that you're putting in what you're receiving. So I feel like that you could, you could basically be at rock bottom right now but this is the buildup that you're working on and the buildup that you're wanting to happen and i see it happening for you let's pull some advice from spirit all right spirit what advice do you have for aries i also feel like that Maybe you had a lot of options before and life was perfect, life was grand, life was everything you wanted it to be, and then something just happened that knocked you on your ass. And this is Spirit's way of letting you know that there, I'm not going to take this many, there are things, like there's life after death, you know, like it's a sense of that. There's, there's life to still be had. You're still here for a reason. You survived that for a reason. There was a reason why. And that's what you're starting to live out. Or that's what is starting to make sense with you. Okay. So we have reach out. We know you're reaching out right now for help due to a current situation. Support is as much about the physical act of accepting help where offered as it is about the emotional benefits and learning that is truly okay to accept support however it's presented to you. So sometimes we go through these things where we ask for help and then we're given help and then our ego is like, no, because I don't want to appear weak or no, that's not the kind of help I wanted or it's not from the person I wanted. But it's, it's the whole point that the the universe is giving you help. The universe is giving you help. Okay. So we also have gratitude. Life is one big continuous cycle of giving and receiving energy. Be thankful for who and what's in your life. Instead of complaining about what you don't have, if you focus on gratitude, you'll start to attract prosperity and abundance. Hmm. Yeah. So we have nature. This is time. This is a time to absorb the healing properties that nature has to offer. Your mind, body, and soul need nourishment, energy, revitalization, and strength. Nature has much to offer. So take this time to connect and spend some quality time outdoors. That is what I have for you, my lovely Aries. I am sending you so much love, light, healing, and protection. Be sure to follow, subscribe, uh, comment, like, do what you can to help the algorithm. Have a great week and I will talk to you soon. Bye.